They say the end of the world is coming, so you better get on your knees. Today, buy a rack is a two for one, but salvation brings. Be 
I'd like to thank all y'all folks for coming out tonight. You had other choices, and you came here, and that means a lot to us. I appreciate y'all. How about another big hand for the fabulous Chris Simmons, who played before me? He's a great, he's a great artist in his own right. He really is. You know, it's a fact of life that none of us is going to live forever. And when the lights goes out, something's going to happen. <laughs> Many different people believe different things, and that's all right. It's good to have a faith, but be humble in your belief and recognize there's a chance that you might be wrong. <laughs> so much. I saw, I saw a video on YouTube. I was looking at James Brown videos, and one of them said, James Brown, high on PCP. So I clicked on that one. I clicked on that one, and the premise of the video was he had just gotten out of jail for assaulting his wife and waving a gun at his friends. But he claimed since he got out of jail that Jesus had came into his heart he was no longer doing those mean, mean things. And him and his band was getting ready to go to Brazil. That was going to be playing in Sao Paulo, Brazil. He was so excited about going over there. And the lady interviewing him, she said, Mr. Brown, how are things now that you're out of jail? And he said, I feel good. <laughs> I look good. I smell good. 
it's all good. And you could tell that he was tweaking on TV. <laughs> he had sweat pouring down his face and he was clenching his teeth, trying to hold it together. But uh, I looked at this, uh, this, this train wreck video. It's, it, was, it, was, it was a train wreck, but, he, but he, he was getting something that we all have needed in life, and that's a second chance. Have you ever needed a second chance? I know I have. Without forgiveness and mercy, I wouldn't be here today. I'd probably be in jail. Anyway. <laughs> so this song is about redemption. And so since he was going to Sao Paulo, Brazil, I call this song Sao Paulo. How many of y'all seen us for the first time tonight? Raise your hand. This is for them people. Uh, my father was a Pentecostal preacher when I was growing up, and his brother, my uncle, was a pimp. So when I was a child, my pimp uncle babysat me a lot. And when I was hanging out with my pimp uncle, he had pimp friends that would come around, other pimps. And so I learned about the different types of pimps. So tonight I'm gonna give y'all a little quick class on the different types of pimps. First, you have the gorilla pimp. That's the one that's mean and brutal and scares people, a bad man. And then you got the sweet mac pimp. That's the man that has good looks and charm, and he smells good. And the ladies gravitate toward him because he knows the right thing to say at the right time. And then you got the chili pimp. The chili pimp is a pimp who only currently has one hole in his stable, so he has to eat chili because he can't afford the steak he usually eats when he's got a stable full of bitches, okay? And then 
The lowest one on the totem pole is the chili bowl pimp. That's the one that currently has no hoes in his stable. He don't even have any chili to eat. He just has an empty bowl. And, and tonight as I look at some of these men in the crowd sitting with your woman, I can tell it's not gonna be long till you're gonna be a chili bowl. So tighten up your game. Cadillac, my uncle drove a Ford. One was Satan's angel and one worked for the Lord. They had some hard on wisdom. They both became my teachers. I was a young disciple of pimps and preachers. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I got in a talent contest when I was in the sixth grade. I didn't win. Uh, I thought I was the best in the whole thing in my heart, but I didn't win. You know why the lady said I didn't win that was judging? She said I didn't make eye contact with the crowd. Yeah, so ever since then, I've been making eye contact with the crowd <laughs> everywhere I go. 
But I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I like to look. I've been doing it so far. I've been looking in people's faces. And everybody that looks at me, I smile at them. And, 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 uh, and, and, and 97% uh, tonight has smiled back at me. <laughs> I think it startles people. They're like, is he looking at me? Yeah. If we think I'm looking at you, I am looking at you. So if I smile at you, you smile back. I'm going to give them 3% that didn't clap. I'm going to give y'all one more chance. If you don't smile at me this time, I'm not going to look at you again for the rest of my life. Okay? All right. We're going to slow it down right here. During the pandemic, my daddy bought some chickens because the eggs were so high. <laughs> he got two hens and a rooster, and he put them in a coop back behind the house, and it was perfect. Them two hens were so happy. They was eating bugs and
pecking around and having a great time. And the rooster was cock a doodle doing in the morning. It was all good. It really was. And my daddy got so excited about the way the chickens was coexisting. He said, I'm going to get one more hen. It's going to be even better. So he went and got another hen. And uh, 30, within 30 minutes of that new hen getting in the coop, them other two hens that was already there pecked that new one to death. Yeah, and that's how women are. <laughs> I swear, it's the truth. You can get two women together and they'll get along just fine. But if you bring a third one, a third woman in, one of them's gonna get pecked to death. I've seen it a million times. Just too many. Anyway. So tonight, if you're in a group of three women, one of y'all's in trouble.
thank you very much. Uh, growing up in the church, family, household, one thing we used to do, we would always, at Christmas time and holidays, we would get in the living room and we would sit around and sing gospel songs with no, just one, a couple guitars and a tambourine. That's about it. And so recently, my father, Brother Wayne Thorne, he's 82 years old, he uh, went and he wanted his family to record a CD. And I, I told him, you know, Daddy, CDs is going away. They're not a thing anymore. But he wanted to do it anyway. So we, we went into a local studio and we just all sat around one microphone and we sang a whole album's worth of songs. We printed up 500 of them. That's all we ever going to print up. So get you one of them tonight. It'll give you, a, it will bless you, I promise you. Anyway, that being said, here's a song about somebody that needs a blessing. You'll find out.
before the show tonight, a lady and her husband brought me and the band some peanut brittle. Where's that lady at? I, I'm sorry, ma'am. I can't remember your name. Lois. I want to thank you for that. Okay, thank you, Lois. It was very good. We had every bit of it. Anyway, uh, you know, I've been doing this a long time, and, and fans have brought me things, treats, food, for years. And I want to say how thankful I am that not as of yet, nobody has tried to poison me or the band. <laughs> and I appreciate that. And, but tonight, if, if we all wind up deceased tonight, it was Lois. <laughs> Remember her face. Remember her face. <laughs> and also, uh, I'd like to thank uh, a lady, Ginger. Where's Ginger? Right here. This lady, Ginger, she gave uh, everybody in the band uh, one of these little necklaces. Hold on. I had a note, but I left it in the dressing room. But anyway, this is supposed to, uh, what I like about this thing is it keeps uh, negative energy away. Isn't that something? <laughs> Next time. Next time me and my wife get in an argument, I'm gonna put this on. <laughs> Keep the evil forces away. Anyway, how many y'all thankful to be alive? I am. <laughs> Let's celebrate it with this song. <laughs>
say I butchered that song right there uh, because I sang the last verse twice and I uh, shouldn't have done that I, but the, what got me all mixed up I was thinking about Lois's peanut brittle <laughs> instead of concentrating on my song singing so I'm so uh, anyway I won't try to do better on the next few songs <laughs> Is everybody feeling all right? Good. Uh, I used to hear people say when I was little, they would say, life is short. And it didn't mean nothing to me, but now that I've gotten a little bit older and I've lost loved ones, and you know, if you're anything like me, uh, you may have had a falling out or an argument with somebody you were once close to, and maybe one of you said the wrong thing to cut so deep that y'all never speak to each other ever again. And that's sad when that happens, because it is like I just said, life is short. And if, you, if, you in, if you said something that you hurt somebody's feelings, go tell them you're sorry. Even if they don't say sorry back, it still does a lot of good. <laughs> to me, in this song, I talk about things that I feel are important in life. And I hope you feel the same. Who were you loyal to? What were you passionate about? What did you believe in beyond the shadow?
Just hold each other's hand The sun will shine forever When the long road ends When the long road ends We will rest for a while I'll hold your hand And we'll share Then we'll both look back over where we've been. We will have no regrets when the long road ends. We will have no regrets when the long. Thank you, everybody. Take me a minute to get my stuff back on. All right. Uh, uh, my sister, Deborah, she passed away a couple years ago, and I missed her. She stayed up late, so after the shows, I knew I had somebody I could call, and she would talk to me late at night. I miss having those conversations. And so I want to sing a song that I wrote in her memory, and it's for... It's also for anybody out there tonight that misses someone. I think it'll, it might resonate with you. Some nights I get intoxicated to forget about what's wrong if you feel like a sparrow who is falling you are not alone when you're wearing concrete shoes at the bottom of a lake and it feels like your heart can't take another break just remember and it's never too late to call You say you have parts that are broken from your heart down to your soul But I see a jewel in the gutter To me you shine
At this time, I'd like to introduce these wonderful gentlemen up here playing with me on the bass guitar from Nashville, Tennessee, Ralph Friedrichson. <laughs> on the keyboards from Tupelo, Mississippi, Michael Graham, Dr. Love. As I announced before, on the lead guitar from Pinson, Alabama, Chris Simmons, everybody. And on the drums from Nashville, Tennessee, Jeffrey Perkins. Thank you so much. Have y'all heard of this phone app? It's called uh, Tinder. Y'all know what that is? T 
Tinder is a thing where you can go online and you can hook up with people. And yeah, and it's like, but you can be very specific about what you want. You can say, I'm looking for a husband, or you can say, I'm looking for a wife, I'm looking for a girlfriend, or you could just say, I'm looking to hook up for like 30 minutes. It's anything you want, there's a taker on the other side. And my friend who works at Popeyes, uh, he's been hooking up with lots of girls. And he just, every day he gets a taker almost. And one of the benefits of working at uh, Popeyes is uh, he gets these coupon books where you get uh, uh, two for 10 meals. Two people can eat for $10. And so he, when he gets on Tinder, he brings uh, his date to Popeyes where he works. <laughs> and they get, and he had a lot of success. He really has because women love chicken. They really do. So anyway, I just wanted to say that. It's really not related to anything. <laughs> Let it ring. When I was a little boy, I prayed for a train I sat by my window Until Santa Claus came It seemed like a miracle When that engine would scream I thought that's what love was God gave me my dream Fearless and 16 I prayed for a car I thought that freedom Was a 69 Dodge I felt like a movie star Lord, when I used to pray, it's sad, but I gotta say, I was asking for more than I need. I'll give back everything, they don't mean anything. Just give me a woman to love, love, love. I've heard there's five women. Just like to find one, but it don't seem like I can. I'm gonna need a little help, Lord. So I'm back on my knees. If it's not too much trouble.
Thank you very much. Uh, when I was growing up in church, they had some really strange events that took place at church. Uh, I'll give you an example. Like twice a year in the fellowship hall, they had something called a womanless beauty review. And the translation of that is, it was a drag show in church. <laughs> yeah, I swear this is the truth. What it was is uh, they would have a contest uh, all the men that wanted to could dress up like women, and they had a beauty contest, and whoever won got a trophy. And it was a nice thing. You know, it, it gave some of the closeted members an outlet <laughs> and some way to express themselves without persecution. It was a good thing. And anyway, uh, so uh, they talked me into getting in it. And I won. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was Peachy Paula. I got me a trophy, and a long time, and that, way after the fact, uh, I drew a picture. I like to do artwork, and I drew a picture of, of me winning the contest, and they made it into a puzzle. It's a Paul Thorne puzzle. You can get it here tonight after the show. And it shows, the picture shows me. Well, I'll show it to you. Can't really see that good, but it shows me in the middle holding my trophy, and it shows these two jealous she-males on both sides, and they're jealous because I won. So get one of these on your way out. Okay, anyway. I've had such a happy, fun life and got to do so many wonderful things. And I'm going to sing this song. It kind of sums it up. It's called Two Tears of Joy. Sometimes when it feels like the weight of the world is sitting on top of my back I like to go fishing if I don't catch nothing, well I'm okay with that I sit on a bank with some sweet tea to drink and I breathe in the morning air When I look at the sky and the clouds rolling by, I believe there's a God somewhere I don't have everything But what do I really need? I've been such a lucky boy I'm crying to tears of joy
Mississippi. It's, a, it's about an hour's drive to a town called Oxford. And when you go to Oxford and you walk down the street and you see somebody that lives in Oxford, they don't say hello, they say hotty toddy. It's a phrase unique to Oxford. I didn't know what it meant, so I looked it up on Wikipedia. And, they, and the, name, the definition of hotty toddy is an all inclusive greeting. And I like that because I'm an all-inclusive kind of guy. I can, I can be friends with just about anybody except mean people. I don't like mean people. I, I recommend if you have some mean people in your life, get them out of your life. Okay? All right. And then, um, 
I made up this song. It's a song about bringing all the good people together. And it's a sing-along. On the chorus, you can sing it with me. It says this. It says, holy, hotty, toddy, good God almighty, love everybody. That's it. And you can, it's real easy to remember. And, you know, uh, the Bible says uh, to make a joyful noise. It didn't say it had to be a pleasant noise. So sing as loud as you want to on the chorus, okay? All right.
Thank you, everybody. Uh, uh, before the show tonight, I, I met I met a young lady right here. She has the coolest T-shirt I've ever seen. It's got a picture of Marsha from the Brady Bunch. And she got a Band-Aid on her nose. And what is she saying? She's saying, oh, my nose. Remember that? When she was going to go out with that guy on the foot, the popular guy, and a football hit her in the nose, and her nose swole up. That would make me happy for some reason. <laughs> anyway, you know, the pandemic, it took a toll on all of us in one way or another. And that was just something we didn't see coming. But it's in the past now. We have the future ahead of us. And uh, I have to believe that things will get better. And so here's a song that can put a positive thought in your head and take it with you. This one's called Everything's Gonna Be All Right. Eating fried chicken and mama's cornbread. I got a V8 for this cherry red. I heard a little voice inside my Yeah. 